One of the environmental drawbacks of water in the atmosphere is that it can be acidified by carbon dioxide and pollutants such as SO2 and NO2. In this module, we address the underlying basis of the phenomena of acids and explain the concept of pH. One way to define an acid is has a substance that releases hydrogen ions into aqueous solution. Because the hydrogen ion has no electron and only one proton, hence its positive charge, the hydrogen ion is sometimes referred to as a proton. An acid is a substance that donates hydrogen ions to water molecules and forms hydronium ions. Often we simply write H+, but understand it really means H2, H3O+. When in aqueous solutions, the hydronium ion is found to form acids. For example, when hydrochloric acid is dissolved in water, each HCl molecule donates a proton to the water molecule forming H3O plus the hydronium ion. When bases dissociate in water, they produce hydroxide ions. Each includes one hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom and a negative charge on the OH combination. Bronson and Lowry developed a concept of conjugate acids and bases. This created a wider view of bases. The Bronson Lowry concept also links acid dissociation with base dissociation. In this slide, the reaction of ammonia with water is seen as the taking of a hydrogen ion and the leaving of a hydroxide ion. When HCl dissociates in water, it forms chloride ions, which is a weak base. The chloride ion is called the conjugate base of hydrochloric acid. Note in this slide that strong acids dissociate to form weak bases, and strong bases dissociate to form weak acids. Acids are proton donors, and bases are proton acceptors. An acid-base neutralization reaction is a proton transfer reaction. A neutralization reaction between a strong acid and a strong base usually produces water, depending on what the acid and the base are. The product of a hydronium ion and a hydroxide ion in an aqueous solution um, is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14. At pH 7, the hydrogen ion concentration equals the hydroxide ion concentration. An acid solution has more hydrogen ions than hydroxide ions. This slide shows the pH scale and includes some common substances. Note that blood is about pH 7 and milk of magnesia is around pH 10. The pH of a solution is a measure of the concentration of the hydrogen ions present in that solution. When we measure pH, we are measuring the acidity of a solution. pH is measured on a log-based scale and can be written with the mathematical statement pH equals the negative log 
of the hydrogen ion concentration. Plants have natural compounds which absorb hydrogen ions and change colors. Chemists can use these molecules as indicators and dyes. Why is rain naturally acidic? Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere dissolves to a slight extent in water and reacts with it to produce a slightly acidic solution of carbonic acid. The carbonic acid then dissociates slightly, leading to rain with a pH around 5.3. Analysis of rain for specific uh, compounds and regions uh, confers that the chief culprits are the oxides and the sulfurs of nitrogen. Sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide, nitrogen monoxide, and nitrogen dioxide are common air pollutions that form acids when mixed with water. These compounds are commonly designated as SOX and NOX, SOX and NOX, and are often referred to as SOX and NOX. How does the sulfur get into the atmosphere? The burning of coal is a major generator of SOX and NOX. Coal contains 1 to 3 percent sulfur, and coal burning power plants usually burn about 1 million metric tons of coal a year. Burning of sulfur with oxygen produces sulfur dioxide gas, which is poisonous. Acids increase the mobility of ions in the soil and dissolve salts into their ion forms. Toxins bound to the soil can become bioavailable to living systems, poisoning the food web. Environmental health problems are strongly connected to our socioeconomic system. The reduction of ecosystem services such as clean water damages both social and economic systems. Because of the presence of minerals in lakes and rivers, their pH is around 7 and 8. Note that some species of fish reproduce poorly below pH 7. The effect of pH on an organism depends on its stage in its life cycle.